Cholecystitis is inflammation of the gallbladder, primarily caused by impaired bile flow caused by gallstones or a poorly functioning gallbladder. It can be acute or chronic. Cholecystitis affects both men and women, although certain populations, such as overweight individuals, pregnant women, those in their 40s or those with a family history of gallstones, are at higher risk. The gallbladder stores and concentrates bile, which aids in fat digestion. Normally, bile is released into the duodenum when fatty foods are consumed. In cholecystitis, this process is disrupted. There are two types. Calculus, where gallstones block bile flow, and acalculus, where there is no stone formation but the gallbladder does not contract properly to release bile. Whether bile flow is impaired due to a stone or improper gallbladder contraction, the result is the same. Bile starts to build up, and the gallbladder becomes inflamed and edematous. If this is not treated appropriately and it progresses, the gallbladder can become gangrenous and even rupture. The most common presenting sign of cholecystitis is pain in the right upper quadrant of the abdomen. Murphy's sign refers to pain elicited from palpation of the right upper quadrant. Some clients may also have pain in the back or shoulder. Other symptoms may include bloating, flatulence, nausea, vomiting, and intolerance to fatty and or spicy foods. Diagnostic testing includes a complete blood count showing elevated WBCs and a metabolic panel to assess liver function and bilirubin levels. Both liver enzymes and bilirubin levels may be elevated with cholecystitis, particularly when a gallstone is blocking a bile duct. A live pus level may also be ordered to rule out pancreatitis. Gallstones can lead to pancreatitis when they become lodged near the pancreatic duct. Imaging tests such as CT scans, ultrasounds, and HEDA scans are used to confirm the presence of gallstones and assess gallbladder function. For clients with cholecystitis and gallstones who have minimal symptoms or those who are not surgical candidates, a conservative approach with a low-fat diet to manage symptoms may be prescribed. However, cholecystitis is generally treated surgically with laparoscopic removal of the gallbladder, also known as a cholecystectomy. An open approach may be needed in some clients. For clients in which surgery is not a good option, a drain may be placed through the skin into the gallbladder to allow for bile drainage or medication may be prescribed to dissolve gallstones such as ursodiol. Preoperative nursing interventions include administering IV fluids and pain medications and completing preoperative checklists. Postoperative nursing care includes managing shoulder pain that results from insertion of carbon dioxide during laparoscopic surgery. Walking often helps reduce the pain. Clients are taught to monitor the incision site for signs of infection and to remain on a low-fat diet during the initial postoperative period. Due to the loss of the gallbladder, fat breakdown does not occur as quickly, and therefore fatty foods may cause gastrointestinal upset. Clients are also taught to report symptoms of jaundice, such as yellow eyes, light-colored stools, and dark urine, as this can indicate the presence of remaining gallstones or other complications. The effectiveness of interventions is evaluated by nurses according to established patient outcomes, adjusting care plans as needed to ensure patient recovery and overall well-being. 